Hi everybody, I am back. Uh, so in my first video I said I was going to do a, another short video about uh, why I'm having my surgery. Um, thus why I'm starting this YouTube channel. So here I am. And here's my dog again. <laughs> Cuddly dog buddy. Yay, I know. I know. You go lay down. He's very nosy, he likes to be in, involved in everything. So while I sit here and pet him, I, we will talk about what's going on with me. So basically uh, at the end of the month here, I'm having a complete hysterectomy. But since this is an essential portion of my, of my vlog journey right now, I thought it was um, important for me to share why I'm having the surgery, what the surgery is all about, and what's going on with me. So if you are uncomfortable with anything in this video, please feel free to stop watching and wait till the next one. Um, I'm not going to share any gruesome details. I'm not going to share any gruesome photographs or pictures or anything like that. I just wanted to give some basic information on why I'm having my surgery, why it's important for me to have this surgery, because um, it's something that I a choice I had to make for myself and also one for my family um, which by the way my family's been extremely supportive in this and I'm very grateful for that because without their support and help I wouldn't be where I am today so besides all of that why I'm having my surgery is because I have what is known as von Willebrand's disease I don't clot like other people do basically I don't clot very well at all it does happen but it takes a while so as you can imagine, that can wreak some havoc on my menstrual cycles. Yay! Yes, I'm using the word menstrual, so if you're uncomfortable, you probably should stop watching right now. So, basically, I don't have normal cycles. If you have normal cycles, hooray for you, and you are awesome, you're doing a great job, continue doing what you're doing. If you don't have normal cycles, welcome to the club, girlfriend. <laughs> if you want to talk, comment below we'll chit chat about it because I've got lots to say <laughs> um, yeah it's been a crazy ride um, I have gone through lots of testing for this I have gone through s several types of birth control I currently have birth control it's not doing anything but preventing pregnancy which I guess it's doing part of its job so that's cool but yeah I basically bleed for seven full days and it is like your heaviest cycle ever. So imagine your heaviest cycle ever if you're a woman because if you're a man you've never had a cycle before so and if you're a man and you're still watching this thanks for tuning in there and thanks for being an all-around great guy. But if you're uncomfortable go somewhere else. So back to it. I have a full seven or more days of your heaviest cycle you can imagine. It is scary. I can tell you that I've called my OBGYN several times out of concern for the amount of blood that I was losing. Um, as you can imagine, this has been wreaking havoc on my hormones, my stress levels, my anxiety. Um, it is affecting me mentally, it is affecting me physically, and I am just so over it. So I am ready for the surgery and not ready for the surgery all at the same time because this is something that is also scary. Um, I have not had major surgery before. I know it's relatively routine. Uh, it's basically what I assist in at work all the time. Uh, a little tidbit about me is I am a licensed veterinary technician and I work in an animal practice, an animal hospital per se, and I assist in surgery, so I am in on lots of dog space, which is essentially a complete hysterectomy. So something that I'm going through myself, except this is going to be done laparoscopically. So I will have four small incisions, and they'll be working with small tools. I should be going home the same day and recovering for about six weeks or so at home. Um, thankfully, my family has been very supportive. Uh, my friends and family have been very supportive regarding my choice to have surgery, regarding um, all of my medical care up until now, because this is something that uh, was undiagnosed for a little while, and this is something that um, I've had to make a lot of long, hard decisions about. Um, there, one of them being the fact that I will no longer be able to bear children, obviously, because I will not have a uterus to do so. Um, this is something that ultimately um, 
was left to be my decision and I'm very grateful for my family for supporting me in that um, and I'm very grateful for my family and understanding that decision uh, they all they want is for me to be healthy and happy and I am so grateful for their support and their love and care um, obviously has been plaguing me for a while um, the von Willebrand's disease has been wreaking havoc on my reproductive system uh, therefore making it very uncomfortable for me and very inconvenient for me so as you can imagine I have to be prepared at all times because I don't have what is known as a normal cycle I don't even have you know um, the normal cues for a cycle, a normal cycle. So with most women, you all have your normal cycle and you get like five to seven days, you know, five days if you're lucky, four days if you're fantastically lucky. Um, you know, it's five to seven days of your cycle and then you're off and then you get a full three weeks before it comes back again, um, if you're lucky. So you go through the whole menstrual cycle, your ovulation and all that jazz. Me, my cycles come as a surprise to me when they want and they stay however long they want and they are as heavy as they want so for example right now i am on a two plus week cycle i had a two and a half day break and it came right back again so i always have to be on guard i always have to carry stuff with me for me i use a menstrual cup i do not use tampons or pads um, it is something that I chose to do um, about a year or so, about, you know, just under a year after my cycle returned after having my son, I chose to use the cup instead. For me, it was um, more eco-friendly. It was a lot easier to use. I didn't have to spend tons of money on tampons or pads. And I um, just felt more comfortable using it. Yeah, it's a learning curve. Yeah, it's messy sometimes, but it works. I do not have to worry about toxic shock syndrome or anything like that. Um, but I always have to carry one with me and anything else that I might need. So I did invest in a travel cup, which has been a godsend. I will post links below uh, regarding that travel cup if you're interested. Basically, it looks like one of those little, if you've ever been camping, and I don't even know if they make these anymore, but back when I was a kid and you went camping, you had these little t canteen cups, and they would um, fold up and then retract down, and then they'd have their own little case. That's kind of what my travel cup is. So I will post that in the um, description below so that you, if you're interested, you can go ahead and look that up for yourself. Um, and also the other cup that I use as well, because um, I have several different ones. As you can see, I've had to... Find the one that works for me and also get a secondary one and a backup one and blah, 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 because yeah, my cycles suck. So because my cycles are very irregular, I have no idea when I'm ovulating. I have no idea when they're going to stop. I have no idea when they're going to begin again. And I have no idea how much blood I've actually lost because of all this. It is probably an incredible amount. So this has been affecting me physically, mentally, and I am just, I'm over it. I am done I'm over it so the surgery is coming as a relief to me uh, it's scary uh, I'm ready and not ready all at the same time I am 100% comfortable in my decision I am 100% comfortable in my other decision to not have any more natural born children and I just wanted to get these videos out here to share with you in case you were not 100% with your decision in case you are going through the same issues that I am um, because I feel that it's important I feel sometimes that women don't get to be as honest and open with these types of things because it is kind of an uncomfortable subject for a lot of women and men of course um, kudos to you for still watching so this is something uh, that is kind of a squeamish category for some um, it's uh, also an embarrassing category for some for me it's been going on like this for so long that I just don't even care anymore like I am good with sharing about it because if I can help one other person with this issue one other woman with this issue then I'm doing a fantastic job and because um, I feel that sometimes we are um, sometimes these conditions are looked over um, and not taken seriously some in some instances um, 
If you've experienced something like that, I would love to hear about it, so please comment below. I lost my train of thought again. I don't know where I was going with this, guys. Yeah. So if you are struggling with either Von Willebrand's disease, either if you're male or female, and you're struggling with Von Willebrand's disease, I'd love to hear from you, and I'd love to hear how it affects you in your day. Um, I can say that with my Von Willebrand's disease, I have the milder version of it. So as of now, the only major side effect I am seeing is with my menstrual cycles. Uh, bruising is kind of uh, for me because I do a lot of other things that could cause bruising. So I'm not sure if, if I'm just seeing a lot more bruises because of those things or if I have a lot of bruising because of Von Willebrand's disease. It is kind of an up and down type thing. I don't know. So if you suffer from Von Willebrand's disease, I'd love to hear from you. If you suffer from heavy menstrual cycle, I'd love to hear from you. Um, we got some stuff to talk about, girls. Um, I can go over uh, tips that I've used um, as an avid cup user because I've had to use it a lot. And also things that I have used for tracking, which honestly I've not been tracking my cycles uh, regularly lately because they've been so irregular and this, this surgery has been scheduled for a couple months now. But I can give you an example of the um, programs that I've used um, and how, how well I, I liked them. Because I liked, I, you know, when this first started, I wanted to keep track of how they were going and keep track of, uh, I wanted to keep track of how my cycles were. I wanted to keep track of how heavy they were, how long they were, how frequent they were, so that I could present that information to my OBGYN and we could try and figure out this problem together. This was before I was diagnosed with Von Willebrand's disease, whom, and um, I've kind of slacked ever since then. I did keep track of it just as a mental thing for me, but um, I can say that for the last, I don't know, two months or so, I've not really kept up with it because I knew the surgery was coming, so why bother? I have an end game, so I don't really need to track my cycles anymore. So if you have any more questions regarding my medical status, my surgery, um, if you just want to share your personal struggles, feel free to drop those comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. I would love to hear all of your journeys as well. If you have undergone, undergone the procedure yourself, I would love to hear from you. Um, just to know a little more of what I will expect because this is uncharted territory, territory and as you can guess, there's a lot of people my age who have never, actually there are no people my age that I know of personally that have experienced this. Um, so this is something that I'm kind of going at alone and another reason why I wanted to um, start this journey on YouTube and vlog for you so that way if you were struggling with the same um, issues, if you were struggling with the same decisions, that you could watch my journey and hopefully it would help you through yours. So thank you so much for watching. I hope I described everything that I need to to get you what you needed. I don't even know what I'm saying right now, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for letting me share with you. Please like, share, subscribe. Post your questions below. I'm willing to answer them as long as they are appropriate. Um, if this video was too much for you, please let me know. I tried to be as uh, minimally descriptive as I could, getting you the appropriate information that you needed to know uh, so you could follow me along my journey. So if um, this makes you uncomfortable, I'm sorry. If you um, would like more information, if this wasn't enough for you, comment below. Uh, you can always send me a message. You can find me on my social media. I will post those things below for you. I will let you know that I'm not super active on it and you're gonna just see a lot of pictures of my food, <laughs> which we can talk about later on because that is also a portion of my life. Um, I say I'm a lot, you guys, I'm sorry. So yeah, I hope this was helpful. Please post your questions below so I can compile them together for a Q&A. And yeah, I hope you all have a wonderful day, and thanks so much for watching. Bye. Thank you. You're very sweet. Mm -hmm. You're very sweet. <laughs>